well and throwing away the key. It is not working. Question number nine, Todd Muller. Uh, thank you, Mr Speaker. And my question is to the Minister for Climate Change and asks, has he received advice from officials relating to the expected contribution to a 2050 climate change target from a programme to plant a billion trees over the next decade? Mr Speaker. The Honourable James Shaw. Yes, I have. Supplementary. By 2050, what percentage of New Zealand's present greenhouse gas emissions can be offset by planting one billion trees over the next decade? Uh, Mr Speaker, the One Billion Trees programme is a 10-year programme. Um, it will contribute up to an additional 35 million uh, tonnes over the 2020s, which will help us in particular with our 2030 target. Current estimates are that the programme could contribute up to an additional 2 million tonnes in the year 2050. Um, this estimate, I have to say, uh, assumes no additional planting above business as usual after 2030, because the Billion Trees programme is a 10-year programme. So I would anticipate uh, that successive governments would see value uh, in continuing to stimulate further tree planting beyond that initial 10-year programme. Supplementary. Uh, to the Minister, to in order to achieve a 2050 zero emissions goal, will a further one billion trees be required to be planted by 2040, another billion trees by 2050, and at what point does New Zealand just become one giant pine plantation? Mr Speaker, um, I, if, I'll, I'll answer the last part of the, uh, of the question first. Um, so not all of the trees will be uh, pine plantation trees, uh, and we're currently awaiting some further advice modelling the mix uh, between planta uh, sorry, yeah, rotation um, pine uh, and permanent native forestry. Um, the strategy, the billion tree strategy, is about having the right tree in the right place at the right time. So while <laughs> While, so, uh, so while, if I may, if I may channel my colleague, so while uh, it is, you know, se carbon sequestration is an important part of the program. It also has to achieve jobs in the regions, biodiversity, uh, erosion control, uh, and water quality outcomes uh, as well. I, I see. I see the problem the member has with. Uh, Patsy supplementaries. <laughs> Todd Muller. <laughs> uh... thank, thank you for your contribution, Mr. Speaker. <laughs> um, Not as much as I'm sure Mr. Shaw will. <laughs> Supplementary question number three. So, if we have a billion trees planted every decade for the next three decades, 100% renewable electricity and renewable transport. Will we achieve a zero emissions goal, or if not, what further measures will be needed? Uh, Mr Speaker, um, what we're doing with the Zero Carbon Act is setting up the institutions that will help to answer uh, some of the questions that Mr Muller raises. So the intention of the Zero Carbon Act is to put in place uh, the 2050 target and some of the specifics around that. It will also set up the, uh, um, the Independent Climate Commission, the job of which is to set up uh, carbon budgets that help us to get to that net zero target by 2050. That may include sector specific uh, sub targets or gas specific sub targets as well. It's actually not up for me to say sector by sector, uh, you know, where you're going to get the uh, the, end of, uh, the emissions. Uh, isn't all sectors or gases zero emission goal achievable for New Zealand without turning all pastoral farming into pine and native plantations? Mr. Speaker. Yes. Question number 10, Melissa Lee. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Broadcasting Communications.